Thank you very much for inviting me. Um, I'm very glad to speak uh, to you here. Yes, maybe I tell you something about uh, my person. Uh, I'm Bärbel Höhn, I'm from the Green Party and I started uh, my political work about 40 years ago when we moved from a uh, clean air region of Germany here to North Rhine-Westphalia to the rural region where we have a coal region and we had a very polluted region at that time. And uh, one of our two boys, we came with two boys, one was only one year old, he became ill because of bronchitis and uh, asthma. And so I decided to be politically active and work against this pollution because I think it couldn't be good to have an economy uh, where the children are ill and where we have not the aspect of environment. So that's nearly um, 40 years ago. And um, I joined the Green Party because I, I thought that was a good way to um, be successful. And um, some years later, um, I was elected to the state parliament and um, we were fighting against the coal situation here because we are a coal region. So most of the electricity from Europe is produced here in North Rhine-Westphalia, it's produced in my region, in the rural region and in the River Rhine region. And uh, maybe some words about North Rhine-Westphalia. We are 18 million inhabitants, 18. So we are a bit uh, um, in the same situation like the Netherlands. So we have the same number of inhabitants, the same GDP, and we have a border to the Netherlands. Um, yeah, that was, that was the situation. Five years after I became a member of state parliament, um, we um, decided to be part of the government with the Social Democrats. And in this situation we were fighting against the lignite uh, policy uh, because we have not only the hard coal mines, but we have only also this lignite open pit mines. And maybe you heard about uh, Ende Gelände and uh, they went there to this open, uh, pit, uh, open pit mines and there was an, a decision for a new one, Garzweiler II. We were against Garzweiler II and the Social Democrats were, would like to, um, to, to make it. So we were, at the end we were not successful, um, but um, now Garzweiler II is not the whole, the whole Garzweiler II, but only two-thirds of it. And we had a huge debate about lignite a huge debate uh, about uh, what's about uh, the situation of this uh, uh, open pit mines and um, so after this debate nobody in North Australia would say we would like to plan another one, a new one. Um, we have this debate in the east part of Germany but not here because of uh, our discussion and because of our resistance against this lignite policy. That means we started, we were only 10%, you know, we were 10% party, 90% against us, and so you can't be successful from one moment to the other. In um, 1998, yes, I was the minister at, at that time, because we, we were part of, of the government, and I was the minister who was in charge of environment and agriculture. So three years later, we became part of the federal uh, government, the Green Party, and we decided to start with the energy transition. And I think that is really uh, um, um, a project where the whole, uh, whole world knows about the energy transition in Germany. And we first decided to phase out nuclear, not at first coal, but to phase out nuclear, because we see all this risk of nuclear. So in 2000, uh, we started with an electricity mix of 35% of nuclear, uh, of about um, nearly 50% of coal, half of that lignite, half of that hard coal. Um, and you can say 35 and 50, so 85% uh, nuclear and coal, and about 10% gas and about 5% uh, renewables. That was the electricity mix in, in 2000. And we started with this uh, renewable energy um, 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 project and uh, now we have a mix that we have a reduction of nuclear of 
So in this year we will have uh, a part of nuclear of 13%, from 35 to 13%, so a reduction of 20% in nuclear, and we have a reduction in coal of about 10%. So not 50%, but about 40% in our electricity mix. And the increase of renewables is from 5% to 35%. So we have an increase of renewables of 30%. And that was our Renewable Energy Source Act and our idea to do that. Um, I think that is really a successful story um, because, for example, we created a lot of jobs. We created with this <coughs> energy transition uh, 350,000 jobs in the field of renewables and we can create uh, about 400,000 jobs with energy efficiency because that is the second part of the coin, you know, not only renewables, but also saving energy. Um, but um, now the Greens are not part of the government uh, till 12, 12 years of the federal, federal government. And the big energy companies, they are in all countries, I visited very close to the politicians, the big energy companies. And they are earning their money with nuclear, they are earning their money with coal, and they are earning their money with big uh, coal fire plants, for example, or nuclear plants. And that means they are against renewables. And they were fighting, even here in, in Germany, a lot against renewables. And so, because the Greens were not part of the, of the government till uh, the last 12 years, so the politicians, they have started to, to block a bit more renewables and block and block and block it. And they started to support coal, for example. Um, so we have now the situation, so till eight years, we have no CO2 reduction in Germany. So we have a chancellor. Uh, she is a climate queen on every international conference, but she is, isn't doing her homework here in Germany. You know? So she, is, she um, did nothing for the increase of renewables uh, and for phasing out coal, and she did nothing for reduced CO2 emissions of, of the cars, you know? So even, but for politicians, I think most times they're looking for the next election. And if you're looking for the next election, you're looking for your voters. And if you are looking for your voters, you are thinking short term, you know? And that means you, would, you wouldn't like to make any change in your politics because that's the best way that the, the, the people will give their votes to them, to, to this party. So maybe I will tell you from our rural region where I am living, 50, uh, 60 years ago, in, in 1957, we had half a million jobs only in the field of hard coal mines, half a million jobs, 500,000 jobs uh, in the coal mines in the rural region, and even a lot of jobs in the steel uh, industry. Now, uh, uh, 10 years ago, uh, 50 years uh, after the time, in 2007, we had only 5,000 jobs in the field of, of hard coal mines. So we have a reduction of 99% of our jobs, not only in, in, the, in the coal mines. And if you add to, to them, for example, the steel um, uh, jobs, that is for my city, for example, a huge burden. And that means if we make such a structural change, we must combine it with social um, indicators. So we did it. For example, we said the old workers, the workers who are older than 50 years, because um, to, to work in a, in a hard coal mine, it's very, very hard work. My father-in-law was such a worker, you know, and, and he couldn't work any longer when he was 50. And that was the same with all the others. So we retired them with about 50 years and gave them a good income and pension. And for the young people, we said, you will have a, a qualified training and then go with this um, training and, and this knowledge, go to other companies and look for a job. And the middle-aged people could stay there in the company. I think that is a social structural change and that is very, very important to have the acceptance of, of the, of the uh, inhabitants. 
maybe one short point um, uh, before ending um, this, um, the speech. I think the most important point of our energy transition was that we decided to make something like a decentralized um, energy production. So we did, uh, because I, I told you about, about the, the impact of, of the big companies, and so that's really a burden. The, the, that's, these big companies are so close to the politicians. And we decided from some, some parliamentarians from all parties, not only the Greens, but also some people from the other parties, some parliamentarians, some colleagues. We decided to install a decentralized system of energy production. And we gave every person the possibility to invest in renewables. Every, every people could invest in renewables. So we did something like power to the people. Now we have 1.5 million people who are prosumers who are producing the energy and who are consuming the energy. 1.5 million people. And if you add all the families to them, that is really a, a big number of people, and that is our support, because these people are part of the energy uh, transition. You know? and, and, and that is, I think, um, the, the, that is um, the keystone of this very successful story, because we have we have uh, very high energy prices, but the people are supporting our energy transition, you know? And um, that means, I think, that is so, so very important. And the other point is very important. When I was minister in the cabinet, it was very important to have NGOs who, are, who make resistance against coal or make resistance against nuclear. Because I could be more successful in the cabinet when I have people in, in my bag who are supporting my position. So it's very important to organize uh, a resistance against coal, to organize um, a fight for, for new jobs, for renewables, because at the end it's coming from the people and not from above, but from the ground. Thank you very much. I would like to discuss with you after the other two speakers.